Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Today, we're going to uh, dissect our colic of the week, uh, like we do every week. My name is Ed Trevers. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the, the incredible little town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia, in the awesome parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Let us pray. Almighty God, you call your church to witness that in Christ we are reconciled to you. Help us so to proclaim the good news of your love that all who hear it may turn to you through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In my experience as an ordained minister in the church, I think the scariest thing I could ever ask someone to do is to share the good news of Jesus Christ. It's something that most people simply don't think themselves gifted to do. They, they, they don't think they're capable of doing it. They don't think they have the words or the ability. They don't think they'll, they'll say the right thing. They don't think what they say will make any sense. Or worse, they're terrified that the things they'll say will offend people or, or drive them off or, or make people think, think differently of them. These are, these are terrifying things. This is a terrifying thing to think if, if, if you've been asked to share the good news of Jesus Christ. But the truth is, I don't think any of us are actually gifted in an ability to share the good news. Listen, absolutely, some of us are good talkers. Some of us have the best words. Some of us are, are really good at, at using fancy words and, 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 and or, oration strategies. I don't know. Some of us are just able to tell stories and, 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 and share what's on our hearts and what's on our minds. But one thing we are all capable of, one thing that we're all incredibly gifted at, is we are all actually able to share with our friends and family when good things happen to us. Here in Shelburne, we have this little store called Frenchies. And the Frenchies in Shelburne, it's a, it's a chain of stores across uh, the Maritimes, but the Frenchies in Shelburne is famed. It is absolutely famed for the things that you can find there. See, Frenchies offers secondhand used products, clothing especially, for really, really low prices. So you can go in there and you can find like Armani and Versace and Guess and I don't know. I don't I'm not real big on I'm not real big on name brands, but you can find really, really top line main name brands at Frenchies for a buck, two bucks. And one of the things that I've found is that when people are able to go into Frenchies and when they're able to find, you know, a, a fabulous dress or a wonderful suit or great shoes, whatever high-end product they're able to find in there for a couple of bucks, they are thrilled and they will tell everyone everything that they found in that store that day. They will tell the story about how they had to root through a box of newly laid out clothes. They had to fight off two six foot seven Amazon warriors. They had to cross trenches and, 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 and crevices and, 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 and trek through forests in order to get, through their pri get to their prize. I'm teasing about that other stuff, but all of them, every person that's ever had good luck at Frenchies, they're all willing to share that story. They're willing to brag about how fortunate they were. Listen, a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources has been spent trying to, trying to teach people how to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm not going to do that today. 
I'm simply going to ask you, do you know how fortunate you actually are? Do you know that you hit the jackpot when you came to know Jesus Christ? Do you know that you had the best Frenchies find ever when you found Jesus? Are you aware of how it changed your life? Are you aware of all that it gave you? Are you, are you aware of how little it cost you? I think this is the beginning of us sharing the good news, is recognizing that something truly amazing and wonderful has actually happened for us. Something so wonderful, something so amazing, that it's worth bragging about, that there's no shame in, that it's worth telling our neighbors about, not because you're desperately trying to save them or get them to go to church, but because you are so thrilled that it happened to you. Let's pray this prayer again. Almighty God, you call your church to witness that in Christ we are reconciled to you. Help us to proclaim the good news of your love that all who hear it may turn to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And may you know the peace of being in God's presence. And I pray that over the next little while, as you pray this prayer, God will show you in no uncertain terms just how incredibly fortunate you are to have a relationship with him through Jesus Christ, that all you want to do is brag to your friends. Amen.